The demand or supply curve can what we call shift to the left or to the right. And in this video I'm going to look at the demand curve shifting to the right. So, we've got the current situation of this is what the demand curve looks like, sloping down with some left to right, and suppliers are willing to supply on the basis of this supply curve. Now imagine a situation where a condition of demand changes. Now examples of a condition of demand might be that there's an increase in the population. Now if there's an increase in population, there are more people demanding at every single price level, so that will have an impact. If you imagine that a specific company increases its advertising, again what should happen in that situation is there is an increase in demand at every single price level. Or an alternative is that uh, there's an increase in consumer income. So if people's income goes up, again they tend to demand more at every single price level. So in that situation the demand curve shifts to the right and we would normally draw it as D to D1 or you can do D1 to D2 it really doesn't matter too much but what's happening is at this equilibrium price level P this quantity was demanded but if there's an increase in consumer income or an increase in population or like I said there's an increase in advertising what can happen is that if the demand curve then shifts to the right, which uh, it normally will do, you end up with an area of excess demand. There's now too much demand at the price that it was offered at previously. And so what will tend to happen when there's excess demand is you move up to a new equilibrium point. So this is your area of excess demand, the price gets pulled up by an invisible hand and you go from an equilibrium point E to E1 and a new price level of P1 up to Q1. So the quantity demanded and supplied has gone up and the price has gone up as well because of this increase in demand. Now I listed a few things that could cause that, other things that could cause it could be for example um, a, a change in the price of what we call a, a complementary good. So for example if you imagine the, the price of Blu-ray players fell, the demand for Blu-ray discs would tend to shift to the right. And also um, a price of substitutes can make a difference as well. So if this was supply and demand for butter, if the price of margarine went up or you know, some kind of low fat spread went up in price, people may switch from that low fat spread to butter. Now the extent to which they switch is dependent on the product and demand curves can shift a little bit or they can shift a long way. So there's no hard and fast rule how far you, you, you do this shift. And so in conclusion, there are a range of things that can shift a demand curve. And this demand curve can be shifted uh, to the right or to the left. We've looked at to the right in this video and we'll look to the left in another one.